as we're surrounded by fire and by light. This is very appropriate for this place also. A lot of people come on this hill because they see this place as a place of holy fire. Fire in this region has been venerated as part of God, giving yourself over to the fire. And the poets, the poets always speak of the moth in this region. They venerate the moth because the moth loves the fire. Because the moth will fly to the fire and burn the edge of its wings. Because the, the moth will dance with the fire and turn and turn around for it. And so the singers, the poets, they all sing of the pervane, the moth. The dancers, they imitate the pervane dancing around the fire to imitate what they want to do, to dance around the fire of God. And so many singers, so many poets, so many dancers love the pervane, love the moth, that one day the butterflies became jealous. And the butterflies said, well, what is this whole business about the moth all the time? Aren't we similar to the moth? No, it's the butterflies. Not only are we like the moth, but we are more beautiful, we are more colorful, we love the light too. We fly around the light just as well as they do. We, we should also receive special poems and special songs. People should dance like butterflies, not like moth. People should tell of our dances and not always of those butterflies, of those moths. And they went to complain to the King Suleiman, Solomon. And they went to the King Solomon, who spoke the language of all animals, and they told him of their complaint. They said, what is this whole business with the moth all the time? What about our songs? What about our poems? What about people liking us? We like the light just as much as they're doing. King Solomon said, fine, if you say so, let's see if it is so. I'm offering to do a competition between the butterflies and the moth to see who truly loves the light the most. And so he called in the pervanes, the moth, and he told him, go butterflies and go moth, go and find the most beautiful light that you can find and bring it back for us to see so that we know which of you likes the light the most, venerates it the most. The butterflies were very happy. They said, well, for sure it will be us who win this competition. And they went away flying and the moth said, it is our path to look for the light. So we shall also go. Days passed and the butterflies came back, flying around a bowl of light and carrying it with their wings, flying all around it, dancing around it, bringing a magnificent bowl of light. And he said, oh, this is the light we have brought back. It is beautiful and magnificent. What about the moth? Where, where is their light? Have they come back? Have they, have they a light to show and to compete with us? Solomon said, wait and see, and time went by. And the butterfly said, they see, they're not coming, not coming, not coming. They're not even showing up. Maybe they haven't even found the light. <laughs> but Solomon said, no, can't you see? It is different for if the moth find the lights that they are looking for, for them, there will be no reason to come back here afterwards and this is the difference between the moth and the butterfly and so it is still that in this land the poets and the singers and the dancers sing of the pervane of the moth and dance like the moth around the fire because it is from the pervanes that we learn how to truly give ourselves completely to the light and this the nice little Sufi tale that I have to share with you.